Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, your expectations? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. William Carvalho starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. The opposition starting 11. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Diego Godin at the back. Rodrigo Bentancur plays alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And in attack, Luis Suarez plays alongside Edinson Cavani. And the game begins. Corner coming up. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. So, a corner here. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. The corner kicks keep on coming. Delivering it. Must struggle to get it away properly. Suarez. Determined defending. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era. And you'd have to imagine, Stuart, he's going to have some sort of role to play in this one. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Bernardo Silva must take the lead here. Luis Suarez. 
And he read it well, intercepting it. On the offensive. Oh, that's a really good run. Ronaldo! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, that'll be a free kick. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Will he find the net? And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Bruno Fernandes. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Fernando Silva. Return to Ronaldo. William Carvalho. And a decent save. Full credit. Who's going to get on the end of it? Just made sure nothing came of that. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Corner once more. Favouring the short one. Good pressure, can they make something of this? Ronaldo. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, Portugal have certainly controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes, and their passing patterns have created numerous chances. They surely must extend their lead soon. Pepe. Ruben Neves. Here's Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Leal. Firing it towards goal. And a goal! A significant deflection. And no wonder the goalkeeper is looking up at the sky in disbelief.
Well, here's the deflection, as you can see. But you can't blame the goalkeeper. He was just wrong-footed there. So 2-0 now. Shielding the ball superbly. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, great vision. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. And he has options available. What a powerful effort, but just wide. Ronald Araujo. Ruben Neves could be a chance to break here all hands on deck good use of advantage by the referee the Arascaeta Lucas Torreira now And he read it well. Rafael Leao. Leao. Ronaldo. Terrific block. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, no doubt about it, Bruno Fernandes bringing his considerable influence to bear on the proceedings. He's been a joy to watch. Well, Derek, I have to say, he has been a joy to watch today. You just want the ball to go to him. Some of his passing has been brilliant, and of course he's created a goal. Magnificent performance. So, back with the action here, and Portugal very much bossing the game. Will there be a response in the second 45? De Arascaeta. And Valverde. No, high quality defending. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And the keeper there to deal with it. Short corner it is. Pepe. Giving it a try. Tremendous block. And he stopped them in their tracks. Breaking at pace. Torreira. Now Suarez. Determined defending. Bruno Fernandes. And that puts him in position. And he might be in here. It could be up for grabs. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping.
Leal. And he saw the situation developing. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Suarez. Promising looking ball. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. And a substitution in the offing. Teammates available. Fernandes. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, tremendous block. William Carvalho. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Torreira. Well, he had to read it and get there and did. And with the goalkeeper... Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the ball so far. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? He might be able to profit from the wide position. And then with a real chance... Defensive resilience to shut them down. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a promising move from Portugal. Bruno Fernandes. William Carvalho. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Nicolas de la Cruz. Cavani. Nicely timed tackle. Cavani. Strong hand on that one. Well, shielding the ball admirably. And he read it superbly. Cristiano Ronaldo. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Ronaldo. William Carvalho. That's a routine take. He's lost it. Bernardo Silva. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Suarez. Given away again. Suarez.
And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. He has teammates around him. Oh, did so well to deny him. Elects to go short. There it is, the final whistle. Disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Ronaldo is going to have a big smile on his face tonight. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.